What's going on guys? This is James from the channel Terribly Tough and what I want to do today is I want to review the nutrition, the diet and the fitness part. What exactly you need to do, how do you get there and how fast and how long does it take? Let's get right into it. This is James Martin Terribly Tough. I was born to be free. First, we're going to hit the nutrition and the diet part. Then we're going to transition over into the workouts and the exercises. But first, before we start, guys, what I would like for you guys to do right now is if you could like, subscribe, share the channel. So if I could help you guys look good, smell good, feel good, any of those three things, I've done my job. So if that sounds good to you guys, please like, subscribe. Let's get right into it. The diet part. Okay, now everybody says got to count your macros. Got to take vitamin A, B, C, magnesium. You got to take the fish oil, the multi. Listen, it's confusing. It's complicated. What we want to do in this page is get right to the point. You need a multivitamin. Get all your nutrients right in the morning, first thing in the morning. This one, one a day for men, is pretty popular. A lot of guys like to use this one. Second thing you're going to need, you need your omegas. You need your omegas, you need fish oils because it's going to help with your heart health. It's going to help you with digestion. Why do you need to take them right away and not in the afternoon? Because you're going to lose focus, you're going to lose motivation, something's going to come up, you're going to forget. Get it done right away. You need a good protein. What I like to take is protein from Isopure. There's also plant-based protein. You have Orgain from uh, Costco. You can also get it at Amazon. It's cheap, $32. Get yourself some creatine. Creatine is good because it's going to hold the water. It's going to hold the water, make your muscles look fuller, and it's going to basically help you get a better pump, better reps, more reps when you work out. So now when it comes to counting your macros, it's impossible. What you are going to do is make sure that your metabolism is constantly running. So every three to four hours, what you're going to do is put food in your body. Now, the key thing to make it simple, do not have carbs every single meal you're going to have carbs only one time a day because that's what's going to make your stomach come out more so we're going to lower the carbs and we're going to up the protein how much protein well they say in order to have muscle what you need to do is have one gram of protein per pound of body weight that you are I think that's another confusing thing. Listen, if you could put protein in every of your meals, which is probably going to be between four and six, because we're eating every four to five hours every day, you're going to be able to put protein in each one, and you're going to constantly keep repairing that muscle that you worked out and you stretched out throughout the workout. So that's why it's essential, important, paramount that you guys get that protein in every single meal. Now, fasting is another part that we're going to speak about because it's hard to fast because when you work, you get hungry, you get dizzy, and you can't really function throughout the day. So for me, what I like to do for fasting is I eat until 6 p.m. at night. One night a week, that's all I'm saying. Do not eat after 6 p.m. and see if you can wait up until 9 a.m. the next day without eating. What that's going to do is going to help with gut health, brain health. It's going to help manage your weight and it's also going to take away a lot of anxiety that you have. Now, how much should you exercise? How many reps? How many sets? My ideal amount of reps per set will be 12 and not just one, two, three, all the way up until you get 12. When you get up to number eight, it should be so tiring that you don't think you're going to get to 10 and those are the ones that you're going up to 12. So if you could do three sets of 12 and 10 being very hard and you're trying to get to 12, that means it's great amount of weight for you guys. And what I like to do, and this is the key secret that I've been doing, this is the secret that I've been doing since maybe 12 years ago. I work out the entire upper body every other day. We don't know how busy we're gonna be. We don't know what's gonna come up. We don't know if we're gonna lose that motivation. So we need to get it done quick. So hit the upper body, the entire upper body on Monday. On Tuesday, you're gonna hit the lower body because now you're giving the upper body an entire day to rest those sore muscles so that they can rebuild themselves and get ready for the next vigorous workout. Do not spend more than 30 minutes. Oh my God, James, I need an hour, I need to. Listen, listen, if you do only 30 minutes a day, it's all mental. You're gonna to say to yourself, damn, you know what? I didn't do enough today. I need to get more done. I'm not getting the results fast enough. So it's gonna push you to come back on day number two instead of you being completely tired, sore, hurt, and now you gotta take a week off, a month off. And that's what we wanna do. You're able to work out better, have better sets, have better reps. And that's it guys. I want to keep it simple, straight to the point, and accurate. What do I do when it comes to sets? 
reps what type of nutrition do i do what time do i eat how much time to spend in the gym and that's basically all that you need let me know exactly what is the hardest part when it comes to fitness for you guys maybe you're not doing enough reps enough sets maybe you're not doing enough exercises or the right exercises all right guys till next review this is james from the channel terribly tough i'll see you guys in the next review